Hey guys, welcome to Hello Dysfunction, episode 252. I'm Tara. I'm Kristen. (laughs) I just cut the roof of my mouth. That was a setup. Did you on the candy? Yeah. It turned into razors. It was an April Fool's razor candy. She just gave me a piece of grandma candy, Italian grandma candy that cut, (laughs) sliced the roof of my mouth right before we started. So I wonder why it did that. Did it have like those seams on it? Yep. A seam opened up. Like the strawberry yep, ones. Yep. And it I got wider those. and wider. And then it kept me. Mm, I'm Shouldn't sorry. have been sucking so hard. <laughs> That's my fault. With that stick in your face. <laughs> With that mouth. <laughs> oh, my God. Let, while we're doing sexual innuendos. There's going to um, be a lot. A, there's going to be a lot this episode. <laughs> um, so... Carolyn fucked her phone up again. Okay. Watching porn. Mind you, Aunt Deborah, Debbie, Deb, is texting me talking about Carolyn's phone's messed up again. I can't get a hold of her. I want to be like, bitch, drive down from Corning and, and fix it. And what do you it. want anyway? Like, Stop texting me. I don't trust her. Every time Carolyn fucks her phone up mm-hmm. because she starts tweaking, going in, at, touching shit she shouldn't be. Like settings and shit? Yeah, locks herself oh. out. Will has to go over there, put in these special codes to fix it. I don't even know what it is. Yeah. So he has to do that today. He goes over there. <laughs> Wait, let me pull it up and read it. He goes over there. Y'all do this often. Off. It's yeah. At Whatever least twice she's a doing, week. she needs to stop. I'm sick of it. I'm ready to she put her iPhone? in foster care. Does she have an iPhone? Yes. Yeah. I, like, really, I'm ready. For her to just go. I know you guys have had to go to, like, the phone carrier before yes. and get shit, like, yep. unlocked and reset. I don't know what she's doing. Causing havoc. I got another gripe about her. Well, I have 500 gripes about her, <laughs> but I love her dearly. However, she is stressing Will and I out. On March 6th, because I have text threads, Will bought her a 12-pack of toilet paper. Mind you, one pussy, one ass in that house. Okay? Trailer. Will bought her a 12-pack on March 6th. Mm-hmm. On March 22nd, I bought her um, a six-pack of toilet paper. Okay? That's 18 rolls of toilet paper. <coughs> Today's April 4th. Why the fuck is she out? <laughs> no, really, what is she doing with that shit? Wrapping it around her whole hand. She's like making a boxing, fucking gloves boxing glove and to punching <laughs> her fucking cooter. I'm getting so... I don't know. She's making me insane. Because, you know, all this shit we pay out of pocket for. Does she blow through it like that usually? Yes. My grandpa used to yell at her. Okay. For how much toilet paper. She has a history of... I'm going to tell her. Being frivolous with the toilet paper. I'm going to make you, you're going to start using coffee filters or knocking on the neighbor, the old towels. You're going to cut yourself (laughs) reusable toilet paper at this point. (laughs) I'm at that point. I'm so tired, tired. The PG E bill over there for one month is five hundred fucking dollars. Okay, I still don't know how. I don't that know happens. what she's doing. I mean, I did see complaints. She's living and I very saw, freely on our dime yeah. at this point. I saw a lot of complaints though. There was something like you can sign this. I don't know if it's a petition or what. Something I'm ready. about um, them doubling our power costs, energy costs. And yes. it's true because it's like doubled mine in a year. was $222. It's usually about 120 or something. So like it's for sure doubled, but like they're never going to get it paid off from me. I told you like no. I will pay, I will set up payment arrangement after payment arrangement. I will pay them the bare fucking yes. minimum until I'm dead. You're never going to get all of it out of me. I so t- I told you Carolyn's uh, got shut off at like twenty eight hundred, twenty five, twenty eight hundred dollars. I called them like, "What's the minimum I could pay?" They were like, "You have to pay the full bill." I said, "Okay, thank you." Called back up, put that shit in my name. She ain't never buying a house. Or like, you know what I mean? She don't need fucking credit at this point. You should have put that shit in fucking Jane Doe's name because I wish. you don't want it to fuck your name. You know up they now. want a social though. That's why we got to figure that out. So, Where's her friend's husband? Oh, so that's what I was leading to. So. Um, uh, Will goes over there to fix the phone and he goes, he's texting us and he's like, um, 
<laughs> Mind you, he sends me March 6th. I looked. I just got Carolyn the following, and he sends the screenshot of what he bought on March 6th. And I was like, okay, let me check. I think I might have bought her toilet paper when I took her. I did. And he text, He said, she's killing us. Also, ch- please check her text messages. <laughs> when I was fixing her phone, some dude named Peter was calling her sexy and shit. <laughs> I hope he comes across nudes. You. you know he'd be so nervous. You know who Peter is, right? The she brother? Goes, Lurch's brother. Yes. And then she says, okay, wait, wait, wait. We got to back up. If you're just now joining us, dude, Carolyn is Crystal's disabled aunt. She's a little frisky. She's mentally slow. She's a little frisky. Sassy as fuck. Yeah. Um, Makes sex jokes a lot. There's a friend of hers we don't like, has a very predatory Marla husband. Marla Hooch and very, Lurch. Very predatory husband. Now the brother, the husband already. Uh, has ha- tried to get Carolyn to have a threesome with yes, them. Yes, and now and the dirty. brother is after her panties. Yes, now the brother is. And Will goes... <laughs> so that's who's calling her sexy? <laughs> He's yes, over there wait. using that toilet paper up. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> they better not be going... Oh, I'm going to start so doing I pop shots. <laughs> yes. Please, yes. please. So, remember, the friend and her husband got roaches and shit, right? So Will goes... <laughs> I call him and I'm like, "What's what are you talking about?" So he tells Color me, sexy. he tells me, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> "What?" He goes, "I think his last name Peters. I think his last I think his last name is Roach because Carolyn has him saved as Peter Roach, but that's not his name." It's the reminder that they have them. Oh my fucking god! I was crying. <laughs> I was crying. I was like, You're like, no, Will. I was no. like, their last name isn't Roach. <laughs> they just have them, Carolyn. Oh my god! And I that's said, who's calling you sexy. Hit you so up. Then Will proceeds to tell me he's like he's like going on this tangent. You know, he's, he's pissed, pissed off that he's pissed there again. again. Yes. So he's like. And when I when I went to fix her phone, Peter Roach texted <laughs> and he goes, and that bitch had the nerve to say, oh, that's just Peter. I'm not answering. I don't want no dick right now. She didn't say that to he, Will. And then Will goes, you better fucking talk to her, Chris. Because <laughs> I'm not coming back next time. I don't want no dick, she said. Oh, I, you know what? D- listen, she got to settle down. <laughs> I, you're going to, into foster care. What are y'all I'm, you're talking gonna about? You're going to become a ward of the what state. Are, yes, you are. Because <laughs> what are you and Peter talking about? Roaches. To be like, oh, I don't want no dick right They're now. They're sexting. I knew it. I oh, knew it because I, when she said. Now I want to see. Yeah, same. Oh, my so God. So I'm going to go over there and pretend I need to look at her phone and I'm going to check it. Um, we really need to know if he's been there. It's a safety issue. No, So seriously. not only for our enjoyment, but we do need to know if he's sure. fucking been there to get it. Yeah, no. I, I don't want nobody there. <sighs> no. But especially not that family. Not the roaches. No. Fuck no. No. So that is how today's went. That's also, good times. I called Will when I woke up and he didn't answer. So I call him back and he <laughs> and I'm like, why didn't you answer? And he goes, well, bitch, I had the rope around my neck and I was trying to hang myself. But you and I knew it was something else. I knew it was going to be something. So, no, I don't blame him. <laughs> That's how today's went. <sighs> Fucking Carolyn. Great. Good times. Fucking Carolyn. I've been fucking on one. He's going to have to fix my phone next. Great. Because I've been on porn site after porn site after porn site. You got hella site. viruses. Somebody asked me. You're uh, a raging, I was, horny. I can't control. Like, it's bad. It's so you went from asexual to hypersexual to prison. And it's bad. It's really bad. Um, Like, I posted Your how labia good- is hella sore. <laughs> From fucking cross rubbing my it. legs, I, but I'm just crossing them tighter Clinching and tighter. Like this over there in the chair, <laughs> you're gonna catch me scooting. No, um, <laughs> I fucking yesterday I posted I was all happy about my skin or whatever, looking good lately, and I thought no wonder. And a couple people asked me like, "What have I been doing?" And I was just like, "Uh, embarrassed, like, raping water. myself." 
just like water, no soda, no juice, water, knowing it's like excessive orgasms. It's like killing 700 myself. a day. Exhausting myself. Like my phone isn't going to work. He's got, a, he's got moved to the be- fucking living room. I'd be locked. I'd be locked. Like I'm busy. I have to work. I'm busy. I'm working on something. Leave me alone. Myself. No. <laughs> I have to work on myself real quick. Oh my God. Like I have Shut to up. calm down. I have to calm down. But that's the beauty secret. Your mind's there. Fucking the, the secret's out. Like <laughs> that's what you have to do. The good for skin. good skin. That's what you do. You're buying fucking cases of batteries on fucking no, Amazon. For real. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. And I'm just like, I don't act responsibly when I'm like this. So I'm gonna be like Great. hitting people up, and I'm gonna be fucking. People I know you would never normally. I know myself. Deal with. Yes, I know myself, and I have to like rein it in, get in under Pop control. Pop the Prozac immediately. Get it under control. Yes, but I knew, I kind of knew this was going to happen because it's like once I have one, I get like, it's like I activate something. I push a button That's way in there. That's what you And I flip the switch in there. I had a dick in there and now it's like uncontrollable. I knew that was going to happen. mania. Yes, yes. Like, bitch, you got to calm down. <laughs> like, and the shit that I'm searching on porn sites is so fucking shameful. It's like, I can't even share it. It's so shameful. Dad rapes fucking <laughs> so bad. I it's already so... know what it is. It's the worst shit you could think it's of. It's very taboo because I'm not normal. Dad rapes me while mom watches like fucking wild shit. I, I know it is. I I'm not going into that. I will not confirm or deny. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna I already say know. It's taboo shit. Agents are going to be at my fucking door in no time. I'm just, they're going to be Great. like, we got it, alerts from your fucking search history in the past theater. five days. And you, who's you call in me here? like, come get the girls. I'm going down. <laughs> they're taking me in. No, seriously. They're like the last. Who's been using your phone the last five days? Peace. You oh <laughs> my god. With my phone again. I'm like I have toddlers running around with my phone playing games. Like they <laughs> were probably just clicking. I don't know. I don't know. But I got to get it under control. <laughs> it's it's embarrassing. It's, um, it's not. Hilarious. I'm not proud. It's not a proud <laughs> I'm moment. Not proud. Oh my god. Oh, that's bad. Mm-hmm. If you're that bad. It's been bad. It's been, <laughs> it's been embarrassing. You're down bad. I need to fucking stop. Take SSRIs oh again it. or something. Shut Relax. <laughs> Fuck. Um, it is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. It is. I we were making quite a that. few jokes before we started, and I was like, "Are we going to be allowed to like do that during our episode? Do we? I mean, you know, you know, we are who we are. I'm not making light of it, obviously. I said, but." We were, we're calling Mark a fucking rapist, and he was making a rapist face and yeah. talking in a in a raper tone. Yeah, he was, he was, you know, fucking around. But you know, I said, you know, we've both been victims. Yeah. Um, humor through fucking that's how trauma we cope. Is yeah. My fucking coping mechanism, yours for sure. It's our go-to for um, sure. It's never to offend anybody else. Yeah, ever. So we apologize. Don't ever take it that way. Ever. We're usually talking about ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Um. God damn. Did you have something to say about that, or you were just acknowledging? No, I was it? just oh, acknowledging okay. that it is. It is. Yeah. It is. And you know, so of course I go look up. Uh, mine. Online, mm-hmm. right? And um, he was sentenced to prison in 2011 for 118 years to life, no parole, um, which brings me great fucking joy uh, because he had been caught again after me. There's many more, but mm-hmm. uh, you were there. There was trial. I testified again, but I, so I Googled it and it turns out he filed for an appeal. And when I saw that, my stomach sank. So I'm like, oh my God, what if, right? Thank God it was denied. But I was reading through the appeal and I'm just like, you have so much fucking nerve. And one, like, take your fucking punishment and you know you earned it, you bitch. That just shows multiple times. there's no remorse whatsoever. Because no. if not, you would be taking what you got that you earned, that you fucking asked for, yep. and you would shut up. Yeah. But just 
from the beginning, like, you know, of of court or whatever the fuck. He was never remorseful. He was never fucking- Remember they had to have the bailiffs surround him again to block him from our view because he kept yes. saying shit. Mm-hmm. Um, he needs the electric. He needs a firing squad, but sure. that would be too nice. Just hit his, nice. his groin with machine guns like I, I that, want, and like, let him bleed out. Fingernails ripped off, like <clears throat> slow torture, skin alive. That's what he would need, yeah. Um, so I was looking, and one of the grounds for his appeal was um, regarding DNA evidence, and he was trying to say that not enough was done about the DNA match because they had the prosecution had an expert testify and go over statistics, and it's like one in fucking... 237 billion okay mm-hmm. like bitch it's yours mm-hmm. and um it goes on in the appeal to state that his defense attorney actually did reach out to an independent lab they ran his dna but it made him uber guilty so they ended up not using it it, it made it worse for him like shut your fucking shut mouth the fuck up shut up oh my god so yeah he's there Forever, and it brings me so much fucking Thank God, joy. because that's usually not the outcome, and unfortunately. It's so rare. When there's, um, and the only reason I feel like he did get the punishment he got is because there were so many cases of him getting caught yep. so many times doing this shit. That's what it took, which is so sad. Yeah. He should have got that from one. But there were multiple to make them able to build this kind of punishment up. Because from um, my case, <clears throat> back in <clears throat> 97... He only got four years. And then, um, like, people get more than that for, like, DUIs and seriously. shit. Seriously. Like, you know, he was repeated. able to plead down to a lesser count of, like, um, uh, for sex with a minor, something like that, to where he was able to get four years. Mm-hmm. And then there was somebody else. And then this last woman, uh, he actually drug her from one driveway to another so they were able to tack on kidnapping. Thank God. And then he had a knife that was witnessed that they found on him. Oh my fucking So they God. were able to tack on um, extra All of shit. these enhancements yes. are what got him got 118 him that, which years. Which is sad no because parole. he should have fucking... Like, sex crimes in this country are never... Never. ...properly punished like they never get the appropriate punishment that they deserve and so yeah and don't let it be he said she said oh no because they're gonna tear apart no matter what yeah they're going to that's part of their defense they tear they it's just further victimizing to the victim it's why a lot of people don't come forward oh yeah of course because what are they gonna get probation i get torn apart and shit for probation Yeah, yeah no nobody wants to go through that no. Um my situation uh mine was murdered and, and I, that I just makes love that. Me happy. He was murdered love like it a year him. later. I love it for him. And um his I'll just say co-defendant, his fucking partner in crime is still alive and is friends with friends of mine and, and pops up every now and then and it's so triggering to see his ugly ass face. And I did some things that, like, I handled it very weird after it happened. I still was, like, kind of cool with him. First I wasn't, then I was, and whatever. But the person who actually assaulted me was murdered uh, a year later. And I'm just like, thank you. That was the universe. For sure. I know who it was. The Santa Muerte, the universe. uh, Whatever, Just, yeah, be careful who you play with. Yeah. You know, because a lot of people are protected and the universe looks out for them. And I just feel like it was a case of that. Um, But yeah, it's just, that's not the case for so many people. And I feel bad for For people that, you know, know that there was no real punishment given, but I, I truly believe karma is real. So even if, you know, you don't see it right now, it's coming. Yeah. Just know it's coming. Yep. Look over your shoulder. Yeah. And to those of you that. It's going to come one way or another. Just and to those of you that have been victims, um, we see you fucking. Yeah. It's a rough road, but it is. But just know it'll be handled. Yeah. There's a price for that kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like everything comes with a price. And 
karma has bit me in the ass many times for things I've done. And that's why I'm such a firm believer that like it's coming. Like yeah. you may not see it, you know, it may not be like uh as visible and extreme as it should be but you know it'll happen to their kids it'll happen to their mother yeah. it'll ha you know it can come in many different ways but it's coming like yeah <sighs> and it's deserving yeah for so sure fucking that um speaking of weird like sexual <laughs> that seems to be the theme this episode it's a sex episode <laughs> abby and Brittany hensel god damn it i knew it was coming we it needs to be discussed that is the two-headed women. How do you? What are they called? Conjoined twins. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's not a serpent. <laughs> That's the two, the blonde two-headed monster. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> You're like actually no, R wrong. <laughs> 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 this ain't a fucking freak show menu. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. The uh conjoined twins. <laughs> yeah. The two head. <laughs> I said it with a proper tone. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um so married. They got married. One got married. Is it Abby got married? I'm not sure. I'm gonna tell you who got married. So here's the thing. Abby married Josh, okay? And Josh is a motherfucker because I don't... He knew what he was doing. He knew. So I've... Ever, listen, we can be as PC as we want about this subject. And maybe we shouldn't. These are real people, you know? We shouldn't be PC? No, I was going to say... No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I was going to say... We could sit here and be PC, right? Yeah. And these are real people we're talking about who yeah. live real lives. However... A morbid curiosity is a motherfucker. Yeah. And you're lying. Well, I'm not going to say you're lying, but I have thought about how a sexual relationship works with conjoined twins. Yeah, like, of course. That's the first place my brain goes. Not, yes. not where do you work? Or are you no. what I mean? Like, Fucking did you go decides, to college? Who decides what y'all wear today? No, I want to know how y'all fuck. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then I came across this video that this woman did and I thought that they had really spoke about it. And I was like, this is fucking fabulous. And then in the comments, they're like, you ain't shit for this video and shit. It was a <laughs> fucking lie. Well, listen, I have a lot of questions. Did they do porn at one point? No. Uh, uh, Another no. set did, yeah, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so Josh married Abby, right? Brittany, <clears throat> it can either go really well for her, I feel like, or it can go really bad for her. Because so they like, share a lower half. Yes. Yes. So, like, if she's just, like, putting in... AirPods and like listening to her fucking book on tape podcast and has an orgasm that can be great for her right she ain't gotta do shit she just you know looks away feels good reaps the benefits my thing is do they both see these are fucking questions that my brain goes to do they both have to consent to the sexual encounter or like that's what I'm saying but like what if it's bad and Josh can't make her come then I'm gonna be like hey wrap it up like <laughs> you're interrupting your honeymoon. I'm taking my, ear, my wedding earbuds night. out, and I'm like, "Hey, that's enough trying. Get off me now. Like I've had it. You know what I mean? Like, does she disassociate? Because honestly, yeah, I, think I think that's, that's what she's what doing. Have to do I think she goes into a zone and then is not there anymore. That's what I would do. That's what I would absolutely. I do that anyway sometimes when it's not going. Because well. you got to be super fucking. Obviously, you're literally close with your sister but then you're super close right because mm -hmm. you have to agree on so many different things you want to yeah. do right mm -hmm. so i would think you would want your sister to have a nice wedding night so you would have to kind of disassociate yeah in order to not be invasive there's or just like be so much do they all agree to do it together like do they ever have threesomes <laughs> like i wonder yeah this yeah i want to know and then it's like there has to be so much bargaining involved. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a headache. Like, I get it. Y'all want to fuck. I don't feel like, you know. Can you suck his dick? Yeah. Or like. And I'll go to sleep. But like gently. Like, don't get wild. Don't start pulling my hair. <laughs> don't start fucking throat fucking her. I have a headache. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there's going to have to be so much 
discussion. They have to have really good communication, yeah. I would think. Yeah, because, I mean, unless she can just power off completely and put on, like, fucking virtual Jewel, reality yeah. hey, goggles. that's probably a really good and, like, solution. And, like headphones just slapping something hella loud like you know what i'm saying so yeah. so like there's the mood but then you feel things too like that's what i'm saying it could go really good for her if she felt like good things but like what if you don't want to and yeah she does yeah yep do i love my sister enough that would be the net the title of my book yeah because <laughs> honestly i'm gonna be like <laughs> For real, like it might come to that. You know, it might come to that sometimes for them. Like, what the fuck? Or I don't know. When having kids comes, when it comes time to have kids, don't you ever? And then, like, (laughs) no, for I'm a hook. I'd be like, we gotta get a surrogate because I don't want to be pregnant. I don't feel like going through that for y'all, baby. Like, you know. See, and then I. But I, do I love her that much? Maybe I want to give her that. I don't know. Give birth to your and then you're gonna do it for me too. Cause bitch, I'm on dating apps too. Like my I'm on my <laughs> once on Tinder, once yes. married, and the ones like we're fucking everybody. Well, I'm horny as fuck. Like Josh, you got to sit this one out. Like I have you company. Can sit in the corner. Company is coming over, Josh. I just swiped fucking the left. He's mine. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, how does it work? And uh, none of this is meant disrespectfully, but I'm. These so are real questions and scenarios that, that we need I to know about. About for sure. Yeah. Like, I want to know. Yeah. And of course, don't be greedy. Like, give us a reality show that we want. <laughs> That's how I. Th- I need to know show you want <laughs> that I really fucking want. Like, you know. And of course, it's their private business. They, yeah, don't owe any of us shit. But I fucking. I, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah, I want it. That just... That's the content Fuck, I want. it's a lot of communication and a lot of fucking bending with your sister. Yeah. Yep. I don't know. But I think that because they were, you know, grew up like this from birth, I think... Uh, you know how twins have their own languages and shit like that? I'm pretty sure they taught each other to just check out. I would think so. Yeah. I think that... Because, you know, singular people know our brains check us out for sure when we need to so for sure. of course i think theirs would be equipped the same way they would be able to have that capability i would think so and i would <clears> think <throat> like like you said they've been together their whole lives the love is probably immense you yeah. know and they're so used to bending shut up so you siblings to- fight I, i'm just like siblings fight so i but know for sure yeah it gotta get bad sometimes and and i want cameras there you know, like when do y'all get into them it? Tussling, because they're go. It's PMS. You can't even get away from them if you want that. They're exemplar, exemplary, exemplary. Human. There you go, mm-hmm. humans. Yeah, because you're never fully alone, right? Right. Yeah, I just hope they consider. Becoming millionaires, messaging gazillionaires. You. Like I hope they consider just DMing a life her. of reality TV because you know I just think I would like it a lot, and a lot of people would. And it's just it's a fascinating human experience that none of us we don't have no friends like that. Or yeah, it's so rare. We're yes. not going to come across that that no. I can question and fucking be friends with. Right. And then can you imagine you're conjoined with your sister? She's hella arguing with her husband. They're arguing. I'm like, give it a rest. Fuck, like, shut up. We jump him. Like, you know what I'm saying? It would get wild. It would get fucking wild. Yes. God damn. And then they all live together. You're like, I don't want to fucking live with your husband. Don't talk to my sister like that. I'm going to punch you. Like, yeah. And then you all, like, you have no choice. Yeah. Live with your sister. And now I have an attitude and they're trying to have dinner. (laughs) And I have a fucking attitude. I'm knocking shit over because I can control the arms too. Oh, I would get nasty. <laughs> You'd be the worst to fucking, be fucking conjoined do not, to. You do not want to be conjoined <laughs> to me. No. You do not. I just shit myself. <laughs> you I do piss. not. You're <laughs> trying to have sex. I poop my pants on because <laughs> you pissed me off earlier. Because you, I couldn't do what I needed to do. You told my Tinder date to go no. because it was your fucking anniversary, bitch. I'm finna shit. <laughs> Like, it's going to go all bad. You don't want me as a conjoined sibling. <laughs> it's just great. I'm sorry. Just fuck. The, the possibilities are endless, endless. with that. Like, mm-hmm. you could really be fucking vindictive. 
if fucking yes i want to go for a run yes you wanted to have fucking brunch mm-hmm. guess what <laughs> Made the we stronger our- bitch control the legs. Because I said we're running. And I will hook you in your jaw if, if, we, if you don't you, want to run first. You just go limp. Fucking the other one just goes limp. And you got to run. I start fingering myself. <laughs> Hella hard in public. Because you want to go to brunch. This is my left arm, bitch. Who's stronger? Who's stronger? Because I'm going to embarrass all of us now. John, you don't know what you're signing up for. Because I'm going to make this hella weird in front of your parents. (laughs) Ruin it, bitch. You better let me have my way then. My Tinder date is coming through. (laughs) It's going to get weird. (laughs) Oh, God. Please, God. Please. Please let them have a show, please. Fuck. But yeah, I want to know the answers to so many fucking things. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Like a fucking, oh, my curiosity. What an amazing goes, life. It, there probably is some fucking really cool shit. The yeah. fact that they can fucking drive is mind blowing. Mm-hmm. Like they fucking drive. Yeah. I, I, now, if I remember correctly, doesn't one control like one arm, the other, another, and then same thing with the legs? I, that I don't know. If I rem- that would make it for better, even better, because you could drag. You're kicking. I'm each gonna other. drag <laughs> like them giraffes, like when giraffes fight. No. <laughs> not like I mean, I'm not making fun of them. I'm thinking excited. of evil shit you could I'm do. I'm excited with possibility. That's I'm not making fun of them. Yeah, absolutely not. Um, absolutely not. Yeah, I, I'm just thinking of all the fun I would have if I was part of that group yeah it would oh. be great you'd be a nightmare do you know what's fucked up though and i i heard this is that they had to pay for two college tuitions that's and they only get one salary at their job so you need to either refund what? their motherfucking college tuition or you need to pay them double salary don't fuck it's two brains don't fuck around get paid them double hey, salary. that's hella fucked up yeah. so, when i saw that i was like oh no you're trying to fuck them over and i don't like that oh that's enraging yeah. it's two brains it's two, two people. tuitions but not two salaries yeah so which is it capitalism's a motherfucker it is, it is. that's why i'm and like they're steal getting over every chance you get scam every chance Borrow you get everything yes Yes. But not from tiny stores. Right. Not, not from independent businesses. No. Yeah. Corporations. Isn't that fucked big up? Ones. That just Don't made me feel over. rage. Mm-hmm. How dare you? Yeah. That's so fucking insulting. It is. But it's like, which one is it, bitch? Because we're finna go to court. No, for yeah. real. So it's which two is it? brains. Mm-hmm. Wow. It would, it would be like hiring... I mean, if they're go, that's fucked up. It's so they're going off people. the body. Unless it's physical labor, you know what I'm saying? Right. I think that's the only time it would be appropriate for one salary because it would be one body doing labor. But if it's but but <clears throat> what if you had um, an amputee who only had one arm and one leg working there? They would get a salary, and then technically the other side could. You know what I mean? Like. Wait, what are you talking about? If you had an and then the the legs and arms would have a salary. No, no, no. I'm saying if there was an amputee, okay, Mm -hmm. somebody working there who only had one arm and one leg, right? Yeah. So basically, they're two beings. One has one arm, one leg. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? Why couldn't they get two fucking salaries? Well, it's one body. It's one set of arms and legs. So, like, if they're working a warehouse job or something, the work of one person would be being done yeah but i'm saying what if you had two fucking amputees who only had one arm and one leg you're still gonna pay those two individual amputees that's still one body doing the work of one body no are follow me two individual people right yeah amputees that's assuming an amputee would do less work of a one body is that what you're doing no i'm saying say there are two people working at a warehouse yes they're both amputees this person only has one arm and one leg, but mm-hmm. they're still working there. That person only has one arm and one leg, right? Two individuals, two salaries. Merge them, and you have Abby and Brittany, right? They each have an arm and a leg. Why can't they get two salaries? 
what you're saying is not making any fucking sense. Oh my sense. God. Please <laughs> leave in the comments if you understand on YouTube. Please leave in the comments. If you understand what I'm saying. Because I'm saying, regardless. They're doing, they're only able to do the physical work of one body, right? But one body who only has one arm and one leg is still going to possibly be able to do the, the full work of one body. Right. But you have two sides to the body. Do you get what I'm saying? Not at all. Somebody fucking tell me you understand what I'm saying. Bottom line, they should be paid two salaries, I feel like. Regardless, you're taking advantage. Yeah. They really are taking fucking advantage of them. And that's fucking fucked up. Where are the fucking disabilities rights lawyers? Right. Get the fuck. That's fucked up. Yeah. Oh, that f- pisses me off for them. I, they <clears throat> should air out what company they work for so people can fucking yes. get up their ass about it and, until they make it right. Because why would you even propose that to two? You know what I mean? Again, so I think it, it could depend on the type of work being done. But yeah, I don't that, know. That's hell of insulting, though. Yeah, it is. Um, You want to hear how stupid and sneaky our fucking government is we all know but what now there was um a government funding package that was passed and inside that Mm -hmm. biden approved um the gay flag will be banned at all u.s embassies worldwide and they hid it inside the fucking spending bill you know they make these massive fucking five million page fucking bills and they hide little shit in it nobody's gonna read that through seems the whole so thing pointless to me though because like why is a gay flag need to be at an embassy like why does it even need to like be in the bill that's what i'm why saying why are we specifically that's a, excluding that's it, a though? pointless targeting of gay but people you know because, why like, they did it why like for it's what so that the bill would be approved by the fucking republicans because it goes on to say Tucked in the massive government funding package signed Saturday by Biden is a provision banning the flying of the LGBTQIA pride flags over U.S. embassies. But even on the same day as Mr. Biden signed the package, the White House vowed to work toward repealing the provision. They don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Um, The pro... The prohibition was one of many side issues included in the mammoth $1.2 trillion package to fund the government through September... Mm -hmm. Um, which passed early Saturday. Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson, a conservative Christian, scrambled for votes to get the bill passed in his chamber as he allegedly touted the the pride flag ban as a reason his party should support the bill. So to get the right on the side... And sign the damn bill. So they did bill. it so the other side could be like, look what they did. They're so bad. Vote against them. Is that why? No. Like they, they, they tucked the banning of the pride flag of the flag in there so that they could get the Republicans, the uber conservative Christians to mm-hmm. be like, look, you guys, we need to sign this bill for their fucking spending budget because it's going to ban the gay flag. And, you know, we hate the fucking gays. They use that as yes. bait. To get the other yes. shit done. Yes. The other shit pushed through. Okay. When it's so utterly fucking like it ridiculous. Was that easy. Like that's all it took. They were like, look, this this is against the gays, but we have all this other bullshit. But look, we're gonna sell it to you that way. Yes. And they fell for it. Yes. I want to know what the other shit was. No, seriously. Because you know. What was the other shit? Because that is so pointless. Even as a bisexual person, I don't give a fuck where the gay flag is at the embassy. Like, that's not. That that is what is so fucking cared about. Like, leave fucking gay folks alone. Leave the whole fucking community alone. Like, God damn. But then to use it as bait to get. Other shit pushed through. Yes, it's fucking weird. We live in it's hell. Weird and, dumb, and they're so childish and petty and like, uh, they're they're just both shit. Shit. Equal Neither sides. are good. So shit. fuck you both. Like no yeah. side cares about the people. I don't give a fuck. No. Like no side. No cares. They've made that so clear. No side gives a fuck. It's fucking gross. Speaking of gross and not giving a fuck, um, we've talked before about Mark Leta from Soft White Underbelly. What do you do now? Um, Somebody sent me a video recently 
of you know the Whitakers that that inbred family. I love them so much in um, West Virginia. West Virginia, yeah. So he in has Appalachia. He has um, spent a lot of time with them over yes. the years. Um, he's gone, made many trips out there, hell of videos, um, and spent time. Some would say exploiting them. Yeah. Um, he, you know, got them new appliances, got them furniture at one point, has taken them to get haircuts, has taken them to, um, you know, grocery shopping, all kind of shit like that. Done some good for them. Um, also, you know, of course, to exploit. Mm -hmm. But he um, had a GoFundMe for them. Right. And so he. I remember it. He raised like hella fucking money, a hundred thousand dollars or something. Because they probably were way more. Their than house that. needed hella work. Yeah, a lot of shit. So, um, somebody like went out there and uh, went to visit or something. Don't quote me because the details are kind of. I didn't get all the details right. I probably should have if I'm gonna fucking talk about it. But <laughs> um, you know how whatever we like to they do said shit. that like. They were like, where's the money? You know what I'm saying? Like, did what you go to? Did you give them the fucking money? Like, where's the money? Because, you know, he's been questioned a lot. Um, his integrity has been questioned a lot. Uh, rightfully um, so. Yeah. So um, basically, um, the family was like, we ain't seen that money. And they were, you know, people were like, what the fuck? Like, got on his head about it. And he was like, no, like, I have these receipts and all this shit. And so... Um, Whatever. There was some question about the money. Well, I think one of the sisters of the Whitakers or something is like one of the most uh, like function, like man coherent. Yeah, that like manages them. Like yes. one of the smartest ones, I think, that kind of helps manage her siblings and shit. And so I think she was doing and some of the kids, too, were like hitting them up, hitting him up when they needed money and all this shit. And um. Whatever. Long story short, what ended up happening was he hit he checked in or something one day and he was like, uh, like, how's everything going? Or I don't know if they reached out to him. Anyway, they told him that, like, one of the brothers died and he was like, oh, my God, like, this is terrible. And they were like, we need money for the funeral. Like, it's fucked up. Like, you know, we're out here fucked up. We ain't got no money to bury him. Like all of this shit. So. He sends whatever amount of money and um, he's like, I'm going to go out there and like, you know, pay my respects. I've spent a lot of time with these people over the last few I hope years. I this is going where I think All this it is. shit, right? So he, you know, makes arrangements or whatever. After he sends the money and shit, he surprises them. He gets out there and the brother did not die. <laughs> I love this for them. And they've been basically, you know, Good. He's, he's been bird feeding the, them this money. You're right? giving them bird bath fucking so pennies. What basically comes out is that like some of the relatives struggle with addiction. They've been buying shit ton of pills and shit with this fucking money. Well, that's what the fuck you get. Like, so? Like, the money what was did for you them. you think? You were going to come in and, like, totally change up their lifestyle and, like... And, like... You exploited their story. You told yeah. every detail their story, their business. And the money is business. for them. The money... Yeah, you got people... You put cross-eyed fucking photos as the thumbnail on your video. First, you know, you got traffic. Hella money. You did for, videos of the one that's non-verbal, yeah, making his barking, noises. Yes. Encouraging yes. him to try Titling to Titling shit, barking like a dog. Like, hella shit. Yeah. If you, you don't give them the that fuck fucking Percocet money and <laughs> shut the fuck up. Exactly. Let them fucking be comfortable. No. And when I saw it, you know, some people were like oh my god like he got scammed first of Good. all he got scammed this is like the fifth time he's been scammed by somebody that he featured in videos that one beautiful ass girl with the big face tattoo scammed him because he was on Good. some trick shit Good. and you know she played like she wasn't with her dude no more and then he showed up at the apartment he got her her dude was in the apartment and hella sex toys and shit and Mark was like clutching his pearls fucking freaking out because he got played he's Good. been played multiple times Good. but like I feel like like there's a level of like white savior complex with him yes. that he feels like he's entitled to decide what this money goes to and shit you're not no that money is for them if they want to buy chicken nuggets or fucking percocets bitch i don't give a Let fuck them that's on them like no, yeah for real and it yeah. makes me so fucking angry i couldn't if i told my story like, say someone took a clip from this show on one of our stories mm -hmm. and then put that shit on their channel <laughs> and made 
thousands of dollars from it, I mm-hmm. would be fucking furious. Like, yeah. bitch, that's my trauma. Right. You know? And you got me and my brother's fucking haircuts and trips to Walmart. And you took us to fucking Applebee's. Yeah. Bitch, seven of my brothers yeah. died. So I need to bury all of them. <laughs> they died, and I need the money by Friday. <laughs> like, listen. And don't you dare cashier check it, bitch. So that's what I'm saying. Like, who the fuck are you? So what? That money was raised for them. And so I guess he pulled up all these receipts. Like, they called me for this. I sent them 5000 a 1000 a 2000 whatever. Like, multiple so what? fucking... Give it all to give them. Give it all to them. Like, yeah. You're not getting a fucking high five or a pass no. because you sent or them... Or sympathy that you got lied to. So fucking what? Fuck you. Yeah. You've been exploiting well putting all their fucking business out there so you know the person who sent it to me i was just like hey that makes me happy that's what he gets thrilled i will not uh you know let me let you know his assistant his old assistant who actually went on one of them trips out there with him and was cooking breakfast for the fucking family and shit she When she stopped working with him, they got into it, whatever. She leaked, she hacked his accounts and she leaked audio on his Instagram account, on his YouTube account. She should have just deleted his whole fucking page. For sure. But she leaked audio accounts uh, or audio uh, shit of him being homophobic, being transphobic, talking shit talking about, shit these about drug addicts. mentally ill, talking shit like, what do you expect from these people? Blah, blah, blah. I was listening to it in disbelief. Like, oh, I will not. Like, I used to be on the fence. Like, one minute I would be like, oh, okay, he might do some good for these people because he's able to get Spread them awareness. resources yeah. that they would not or- ordinarily have access to. Yeah. Okay. But then it's like, you're fucking throwing them twos and fuse to do these videos and spill their trauma while you damn near get millions from fucking YouTube. He lives a great fucking mm-hmm. life. And I he had a career before this. Yeah. I get it. But now your income is based on other people's fucking trauma. Right. And you got nerve. You got a Patreon. Like, I know you're getting paid crazy, crazy. fucking money. And you set up a GoFundMe for these people. Mm-hmm. Give them every fucking penny it's not up to you Who to dole you? it out for what the fuck you're not, you want them to spend it on you're not the fucking white god you're not bitch you're not and if they want to get high so what give so them the fucking what? money you don't live the lives that these people live and you it's haven't like went through what they no, went through no if they want to fucking smoke dope mm-hmm. bitch let them it's not for you to it's not, judge it's not and it's not for you to decide what they buy so fuck off everybody deals with trauma differently yeah everybody's pain threshold and i'm not talking about physical i'm talking about emotional pain threshold is different mm-hmm. and if numbing that shit is what helps them wake up every morning yeah as Shut I got older, when I was younger, I used to be like, hell no, I'm not giving these people on the street my money so they could get high on my money and blah, blah, blah. Now I'm so fucking different. You know what I mean? I look at things so Hella different because I'm like, if who the fuck am I to decide how they cope? You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the nerve, the entitlement, the nerve, the privilege, the judgy, the privilege to fucking yes. think you could decide that for somebody. The privilege. Like, yeah, I hate it. I hate. Yeah. That uh, mindset got to stop. It does. And as long as they're not hurting anybody, but potentially themselves yeah. inadvertently, mind your fucking business. You got lied to. Whatever. Ha ha. If ha, anything, ha. make a video about that. You know what I'm saying? Your and own like, trauma. And laugh at honky. it. Honky. Yeah. Laugh at it. That shit pisses me off. Yeah. I, I just know he's raking it in mm-hmm. off of other people's stories and then has nerve to be judgy to behind decide the, how they behind get the to scenes spend. to judge them and be judgy and shit talk these same people that, that are the only reason anybody knows who you are the reason you're thriving yeah and you got nerve to think that you get to decide how their fucking money is spent yeah give them that fucking money all of it yep thief and I thought, oh, I just was God. like, good for them. You know that meme, that lady, I don't know her name, but it's like, good for them. Good for them. Mm-hmm. I love that they did that shit. I do too. I wish they would have said three of them died. So yep. it was like more expensive. Yeah. We're, we're getting a private mausoleum. We need 70 grand. We need 80,000 by Friday. I already gave the deposit. We need some money. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Shit. Yes. Give them that fucking money. Fuck you, Mark. 
Um, I watched a couple things. I did watch Quiet on the Set. Quiet on Set. What is that? Um, Nickelodeon. Oh, did you? It's on Max. It's on HBO Max. Um, the motherfuckers need to be in prison. Yeah, it was bad. It was gross. And um, unbelievable to see the scenes with the sexual innuendos that were allowed to, you know, it's it's disgusting. And then to know that, like, nobody really got in trouble. Like, three pedophiles that worked with Nickelodeon actually did get arrested. But, of course, like, one was raping kids and got fucking 16 months or something. And then was still allowed to get released and continue fucking working and having a life. And, and this is only Nickelodeon, okay? Yeah. This is one network. Fucking network. Yeah. This is one network yeah. and there were three people there's been that stories were fucking arrested and there's been stories it. of disney stars oh yeah so this is just nickelodeon yeah it's it's really gross and it's really sad and, and it's he, just like i blame hella the parents you amanda know, binds and, that poor girl like yeah. everyone you know a few years ago was making fun of her talking oh, shit are. about her yeah that's horrific she's like, in the media a lot lately because she was talking about manicures. starting a, a podcast and then now she's trying to get certified to do you know manicures and shit and she like failed her test but i see the blogs like showing her all the time and let her talking be. about her appearance her appearance and everything and it's like you don't know what that girl went through or she anybody through else hell. for that matter yes. like you know I'm not one to kick people when they're down but unless, no. like, they deserve it. But she's trying to do something simple as just do nails. Like, let yeah. her live. Like, cheer yeah. her on. Right. Support her. Right. Or leave her the fuck alone. Yeah. That shit hurts my heart, man. Yeah, it's sad. <clears throat> but that was, you know, it was gross. It was, it was a tough watch. And then... Ugh. Now, since I've seen that, I just look at storylines and shit in Disney movies and stuff like that more. And I always notice things. I you always do. notice a lot of sexual humor in children's movies and shit. Like yeah. I was watching Turning Red with the girls earlier. What is that and one? And the one where it tur- the girl turns into a red panda. Oh, when she okay. gets overexcited. Yeah. And there's sexual in like undertones and innuendos in that movie. And I'm just like, that's not necessary. Like, like why? these are kids. Like you don't have to throw that in there. It's that very shit. intentional. And it's multiple. It's not just one through the film. There's like five. Like it doesn't, it's just it's really gross. And like lately, like when I pay attention, I just I can't watch things without seeing that now. And I'm like, that kind of humor doesn't belong in children's movies Fuck no. it doesn't like it's it's fucking gross fuck no but um yeah i watched that and then um <laughs> i watched a movie called your lucky day on netflix and um it had angus cloud you know from euphoria mm-hmm. the one that died from yeah. out here um he was like the star of the movie it was a really good movie um some parts were super frustrating but yeah it was good yeah yeah that's on netflix is so. it comedy. oh you want to know what it's about duh comedy um, drama no it's like a drama so basically um it's a bunch of people fighting over a lottery ticket dirty cops um oh i think i might have seen a preview people are getting killed like yeah it's all it's a drama i guess you would call it yeah is it like suspense yeah drama a little bit yeah, suspenseful. I'll watch that one. Yeah. I think I saw the preview and I was like, I want to watch that. Yeah, it was good. Don't steal my fucking lottery ticket. Yeah. My yeah, it, it got crazy. I, I can It got imagine. hella crazy. But you know, yeah, it's like you got to be quiet when you win shit, you know, like that. Or if you just come into a, a lump of money, not even anything huge Florida, like that. Like, who? You, um, I want to say, don't quote me. I believe his name was Freddie Gray. I could be making that up. Mm-hmm. Um, but he had won the lottery. Mm-hmm. Um, and some people started to become his friend, a woman. Mm-hmm. And very quickly, his money started disappearing. There's so many stories like that. And they killed him. There's so many stories like that. If you notice, a lot of people now, when they win the lottery... They have a hood. And gloves. So you cannot even see I would gender, too. color, nothing. You cannot... Like, untraceable, almost. Like, why are you even up here talking? Just they quietly. Make you. Oh, they do? Yes. <gasps> I didn't know that. Yes. Oh, there's a show. That's why they cover themselves. There's a reality show about lottery winners, past lottery winners, and how so many of them just like blew through, are it. murdered, 
go to fucking shit, just blow through it, have nothing. Say go, it was the worst thing to ever happen that, to them. To, uh, ruin their lives. Yes. yes, yes. It's shit is crazy. I've watched a lot of episodes of that and a lot of true crime that involved a lottery winning. Yeah. Yeah, you got to keep that shit low if you come into any money at all. Definitely. People say that about their own family all the time. Like, don't, like, unless you're ready to fucking be attacked, be fucking harassed. Um, yeah, recently, um, a family I'm close to had someone pass, and the person that passed has money, and so they were worried about other family members coming out starting the woodwork. Shit. And I said, "See, this is where being poor is a benefit because yeah. when people in my family die, what are you gonna fight over? <laughs> Sweats with burn holes? No, for real. Like, we don't have shit to fight over. Mm-hmm. Nothing." And there was even some weird behavior about the little few dollars that y'all had come in, you know? Yes. Um, Not to say no names, but no, like yeah. that little tiny bit. So just imagine when families actually have like a lot of money. come. Like people get weird. People get very Greedy, fucking disgusting. weird when it comes to money. Yeah, it's fucked up. Yeah. Um, We have some write-ins. Okay. Let me say happy birthday to Ron B., Yes. From Burbeck and Garrison. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. We Happy love birthday. you. Um, let me pull up these right in. So I have one special one that I want to read first. Okay. It's very long. Um, it's about nine screenshots. Mm -mm. But let me tell no, nope, I have to tell you. So if you remember last week, we had a very special write in. So Actually, before I get to that, <clears throat> I'm, I'm getting lightheaded from the cigarettes. Okay. I put it out, pussy. But I put it out. Okay. So this, I'm going to let you read this one first, is mm -hmm. a follow-up from, remember the write-in last week where the person had wrote in and said their mom had them do the pee test and told them something was wrong with them so she could pass yes. her drug test? Okay. So this- Is this an update, please? So read this. Okay. Yes. Can you- I'm sorry- or, yes, yes. Would it be easier for me to get up? Yeah, Sorry, real quick. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. My mom came to visit. She said, wait a minute. Is this where it starts? Yep. My mom came to visit. She said, quote, put our girls on. Oh, shit. Yep. So she heard me yep. us talking shit. So I played the latest episode and now she's fucking pissed at me. <laughs> I mean, I'm pissed at her still so i'm I pissed okay so there's hella laughing faces and a crying face but to be honest she was pretty shitty growing up we're best friends now but we funked until my late 20s early 30s i'm glad you guys are good now i am were drugs involved do you know i don't okay oh my god she's still pissed she told me quote well since you bad mouth me to the girls online you might as well tell them the story of the year me and lychee her friend got so coked out we hid your easter baskets so good we crawled through the bushes and climbed trees to hide them then when we woke up we couldn't read the clues and had to find them and crawl back through the bushes and climb trees and just gave them to you guys what? She would have them do a scavenger hunt every year to find their Easter baskets. Yeah, but they hid but them got, from each they other. They got so coked out, they couldn't fucking even read their oh own clues my they God. wrote. Oh so my there's God. your answer. There's my answer. Okay, well then, you girl, it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Backstory. My mom used to give us clues on flashcards. That's fun. It is. And we would have to go on scavenger hunts for our Easter baskets. Good times. So I responded back okay. to her and I had said... Tell your mom we love her, but she has to just take that L. Take that L and apologize. Yeah. Because you don't do that shit. Nope. And I'm glad you guys That's have That's hella funny that you let her hear the episode of yes. us fucking like, what the fuck? Yes. Like, why would you fucking do that to your kid? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad you guys are good now. Yeah. And I'm glad she's a good mom now. And we love you, mom. Yes. And daughter yes. for listening. So thank you guys. <laughs> so here we go. Is this the long one? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me let me take a drink because it's a lot. What? Just listen. Okay. Whew. Hello. I don't know where to start with I this. I don't feel like being emotional. I don't know where to start <laughs> with this. First, 
oh, we're going to cry. You're crying with me. No. For, we have to. First, I want to thank you so much for this podcast and what you and Patafria do for all of us listeners. I'm sorry if my grammar is bad or if I write too much. Please don't apologize. Um, regarding the most recent episode about Sophia, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Sophia, the most recent write-in mentioned, was my sister. When the podcast first started, my sister Sophia was going through a rough time and always told me to listen to the show. Before I started listening, one of the biggest things she told me in the podcast is that, ugh, you guys, in her words, make me feel like it's okay to have dysfunction. I became a listener, and her and I both couldn't wait for every weekly new episode to go over. Her and I both have the same humor as you and Pat, so the belching laughter I get from listening to the show I only got from my sister. Fast forward to 2019, my sister started working at a new hotel in Hawaii and then tragically passed away New Year's Eve 2019. It was sad and unexpected. She was the kindest person and a ray of light in my world, she was not just my big sister, but like my mother and soulmate to me in life. She taught me everything, but above all, kindness. Her legacy in my life, with the exception of my husband, the only time I really have the gut laughter I had with my sister Sophia is when I listened to the show. So I feel like I'm with her when I listen to you. I've always wanted to write in, but I've always been too shy. However, the coincidences are just too much right now for me not to write in. My birthday was March 30th. I went on my Patreon tonight to listen to the newest episode. I then see the podcast is named Sophia. Fuck. I turn to my husband and say, oh my God, the most recent episode is named Sophia. I tell my husband, I swear this is my birthday sign from my sister that she's with me. So I have a brief moment and say out loud, I love you, Sophia, and I go to listen to the episode in my headphones. Sorry if this is so long. Finally, when I get to the write-in, I had to stop and take him out my headphones and put my phone on loud so my husband could hear. The coincidences were just too close. My husband says to me, I swear that's about your sister. She started a new job in 2019. I remember when she first started feeling low self-esteem and having to deal with some clicks, but she was so motivated to persevere with kindness and love. She was truly such a light. I had never heard, or heard of or met Kylie, and it was so beautiful reading what she had to say. With your permission, somehow, I would like to thank her and see if for sure it is my sister, Sophia. I would love to connect with her and hear some stories about my sister, but at the very least, I'd like to thank you and Pat for letting me and other listeners hear the story and let my sister's legacy of kindness and light be shown even four years after her death. This is what she looks like. She's very beautiful. Um, I'm sorry for the long rambling. There's just so much more I want to write. But I really tried to condense it as much as I could. I just cannot believe the coincidence. Also, happy Easter, sending love and light. And above all, thank you a million times for the show and making my sister not feel alone when she was still on this earth with us. The podcast really helped her in her darkest of times. And in her own words, she would tell me how much it meant to her. I'm sorry for the typos. I'm just reading it. Was doing voice text and I misspelled Queen Patafria's name. Crystal. So I responded to her and then she said, God bless you. I'm shaking and crying. This podcast is truly a gift. You are so right. I swear this was the universe. There's no, coinc no coincidence as my birthday is March 30th. The episode named Sophia four years later. You and Patafria have no idea how you guys helped her not feel alone. <laughs> Sorry again for all the rambling, and I really hope to hear from Kylie. So what I did was I sent Kylie her profile, and I explained she wanted to reach out to her. Um, and then she said, um, so actually I gave Kylie's profile to the sister. And then she said, thank you a million times. I'm going to write her. And also thank you for getting back to me. Thank you so much for your kind condolences she would be freaking out if she knew 
you guys were sending her best wishes. The universe is truly beautiful. And then she responded and said, hello. I got in touch with Kylie. Thank you so much. It's all because of you guys. I cannot even express how wild in a good way this all feels. I feel so happy and at peace to know it was in fact about my sister. This podcast has connected me to a friend of my sister who passed away four years ago and has given me so much peace and happiness to hear what Kylie said. I feel forever grateful for you guys. Thank you so much for connecting me. And above all, thank you for giving us listeners this beautiful community. Yeah, she did that. Like, that's, I was crying when I first opened that. I was sitting at the kitchen table just sobbing, sobbing. And I was like, oh, I can't wait to make Pat cry. fucking crazy. Like, I say all the time, um, there's no such thing as coincidence, ever. It's just up to us to make the connections. And yes. if you're not paying attention, a lot of times you won't. But right. someone... She was. Yeah. And... Your birthday. birthday. Yeah. And the fact that... Like, your sister was making sure that you got it when you did and how you did. And and Kylie writing in after four years at that time. Yeah. And then the fact that Sophia's sister, Demetria, was listening. Yeah. It's really beautiful. And... God. That gave me chills. Love all of you. Thank you, both of you, (sighs) for sharing... Sophia's story with us and yeah um, yeah Sophia did that she did I think that was beautiful it is very it really is and I hope you guys keep in touch and like you know she wanted that connection to be made I love that all right this for you it's only two so you're good I'm just wondering why you say for me I don't know I haven't pre-read this one FYI okay (laughs) I have not pre-read okay Hi, ladies. Just wanted to tell you about my weekend. Trigger warning. My parents, my parents wanted to take my baby, two years old, to visit my granny for Easter. I started to feel an immense weight on my chest and was physically feeling sick from the thought. My granny's husband, not biologically related to me, sexually abused my cousin and I when we were around four or five. Oh, God. I'm now 32. I hate that your granny is still with this piece of shit. Oh, my God. Um, I am now 32, and I had to tell my parents that I didn't want them taking her there without me. Good. When I told my mom I didn't feel comfortable, she asked why. I told her I would tell her another time as I was working. I got off and went straight to my parents' house. I prefaced this secret with, quote, I thought... I could take this to the grave, but I can no longer hold it in. He, Granny's husband, touched me inappropriately when I was little. My mom sent out a wail I have never heard. Oh. It broke my heart. My mom then proceeded to punch a hole in the wall. I bet. And she said she never liked that motherfucker and knew there was a reason, but why? But everyone always told her, oh, he's a good guy. He's a cop. (gasps) After all. My mom asked if I could give her any more details, and I told her it happened when me and my cousin would spend the night at grandma's. She then asked if he touched my cousin, too, and with my cousin's permission, I told her yes. My mom was getting ready to grab her gun and go to my grandma's. I feel it. You got a good mama. I feel it. Luckily, my dad was there and able to kind of calm her down but keep her there. Well, now that this secret is out, I'm kind of looking for some guidance as the next steps. I never thought this far ahead because I never thought I would have to tell anyone. Now that I'm a parent, I could no longer carry the burden of holding this in, as you should Should not not have to ever. Ever. My parents want to get an attorney and find out our options. I guess I'm just looking for a little guidance. I've spoke to a therapist about this about five years ago. But I don't know what my rights are as this happened so long ago. And I'm not sure what it will take to get him convicted. There's no statute of limitations. Oh, good. I didn't know that. Mm -mm. Um, Wow. That's great. Um, I love y'all so much. And thank you for being something that brightens up my fucking day with love always free Palestine. Oh. I'm so sorry this happened to you and your fucking cousin. I'm so, that's like my biggest fucking fear when I look at peas and 
Lonnie and like, you know, just any kids in general in my family. I'm just like, oh, my God. Listen, it's the worst fucking feeling in the world. It is. And uh, there, as far as I believe, there's no statute of limitations. At least I know in Utah there's not. I recently called for a friend. There's not. And I believe that's across the board um, regarding child sexual assault. If you would like fucking press charges. Absolutely. You, the only advice that we could really give is for you to do what you're comfortable with and, and protect your baby. Absolutely. That's what absolutely. Matters. And your feelings are what matter, not how anybody else is going to feel, not nope. anybody worrying about anybody doubting you, not fucking, you know, when, there are situations like this. There's always going to be somebody that's like, well, if this happened, like, why did you wait so long? That's always a question. Fuck them. They can fucking go to hell if anybody ever says that to you. You never know how you're going to react until and it's your yeah. situation. Right. And, and trust smart me. people know that. So, yeah, your um, well-being and I, comfort and... As the victim. You're owed that. Like all autonomy should go back to you. So whether you want to press charges, mm -hmm. whether you want to cut him off and never speak to him again, whether you want to fucking take everything he has, him, blackmail it's your him, choice, hold him in a basement somewhere, it's your whatever fucking choice. However, this like yeah, exactly. What? Whatever is going to help you heal, yes. Um, you and your cousin are owed that. Yep. Yep, and I say that too. It's so hard for me to not say what I really want to happen, or you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we have a show, and I, I don't know. We're not we're supposed not going to do to that. Jail, bitch. <laughs> we're not supposed to do that. But you know what I'm saying? Like whatever. I don't think they should get away with it. And I will say this: I have situations where mm, there are like uncles, for example, in in my family that have done things to relatives when they were kids and like they're still invited to cookouts and shit nah. and i'm not um it's mind-blowing to me because like people know it's not a huge secret like people know and i don't understand like that should not be expected of any victim of anything Fuck like that no. like to just be okay with coexisting in a family no. with these pieces of shit like no and i know someone who mm -mm. was a piece of shit and did it uh, to a kid and some in our extended family and um, the victim chose to cut them off never speak to them again so the family cut him off and um, from what I heard he's killing himself basically good drinking himself to death good. miserable they should do it quick yep yep don't but, take your time with it but don't protect predators no fuck no their comfort Never. their uh reputation Tell. none of that is a concern of yours no i mean i think you know that and you spoke with a therapist and i'm sure they gave you better advice than we could you know but just do what you need to do and yep. i thank for god for your healing thank god you have supportive parents that yeah. did not doubt you and have yes. your back i love that for you love and that. your cousin <laughs> And yeah, I just hope that you get the healing that you guys deserve. Oh, your mom's wail. I can just picture it, dude. I already know. God. Yeah. Fuck. Do you want me to read this next one? Uh, Yeah. Did you scroll past the other? Oh, no. That's the one that you just read. Here. So I don't. I, there's your phone be making me nervous. I don't have. Fucking, I don't. Okay. I'm not a raging hornball, <laughs> bitch. You're not like me. You. No, I'm asexual. You scrolling mine, it's going to get weird as fuck in here. It's going to be awkward. <laughs> Definitely not fucking scrolling it anything in yours it's gonna get don't even really? show me a write-in screenshot bitch i'm scared <laughs> because it'd be right next to yes. regular shit it's so like, like the baby screenshot <laughs> pussy fucking the baby <laughs> violently violently fucking masturbating it like <laughs> it's to real break risky it. to show anybody anything in my fucking phone because the shit <laughs> I really need to figure out how to organize some files, shit files. Yeah, yeah I don't have any files, of my shit like, separated either it's just so much it's just yeah <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. It's so You much. need a secret subscribe, locked phone. Subscribe, subscribe to, my to her violent. <laughs> Okay. Her violent ass only. Face. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Hi, ladies. Um, thank you so much for spreading your light and authenticity. You inspire so many of us. This podcast has truly been the sparkle in my bad and good days. I just wanted to wish a very happy birthday to my favorite Aries baddie. Her birthday is coming up on April 10th. No one could ever replace you, Laura Jean. I like that name. Um, thank you for being here for me and loving me even from 2,200 miles away. Mm. I'm so grateful for the years we grew up across the street from each other and were able to see each other every day. I miss being, quote, attached at the hip with you, as my mom would say. Um, I'll always cherish the days and memories when we lived across the street or even just 10 minutes down the street. Even though our friendship has transformed a little from the distance and life changes, I know the love is always there. We truly are the sisters neither of us had. I'm so happy we still talk and our friendship has, st has stood the test of time and distance. Even with the ebbs and flows. Is that what yep. you said last time? Yep. Don't be trying to use that because you know I don't Ebb know what the flow. fuck it means. <laughs> I love you with my whole entire heart. Thank you for being my best friend the past 26 years. Damn. Love it. You and our friendship are truly one of the greatest gifts from the universe. Mm. Happy, happy birthday, uh, bestie. And always free Palestine. Love you, ladies, and thank you. Love, Nicole. Happy birthday, Laura Jean. Happy birthday. I do like that name. That's a very cute name. Very cute. Very sweet writing. Love that. Happy birthday. Yes. Someone else has a birthday coming. Rhymes with Clark. Rhymes with narc. <laughs> Hold on. I have a... Yes, happy... We'll wish him a happy birthday We got next time. week. Yeah, we got more to record. Char's birthday's coming up, too. Happy birthday to Char. Wait, she's an Aries? Nurse Char. Yeah, April 15th. Wow. Hold on. I have a write-in in here. I think it's a birthday. Let me just... Oh, good. Oh, good. Let me get to it real quick, because I think... On my own. When was this? This it's was from March 23rd. Shut up. Supposed to okay, this is from 510 Hater. Mari. And I don't think we did this one. And if we did, we're double. doing it again. Sometimes that <laughs> happens and you get double birthdays from us. Okay, I wanted uh, you guys to give my mom a shout out because she's the best mom ever. And I love her so much. And I hope she knows I appreciate everything she's done for me and how she helped me mature. And I love her so much. By the way, her name is Lisette. And she loves you guys so much. We so, did. And so double happy birthday. Double birthday for you. you Liz. I was Liz cleaning C out screenshots and I was like, fuck, let me do this one just in case. You I know, I do it all the time. Yeah. So you get well, good. Lucky Two for you. you. Double fucking happy birthday. Happy birthday. <sighs> Let's sing it like this. We don't happy need that. Happy birthday to we, you. We don't need that. It's the Marilyn Monroe. No rendition no. for jfk mm -mm. join in with me mm -mm. sing it with me girl i'll get up and walk <laughs> out we're done she's you a have big loser no. no no you're done my brain does but i don't <laughs> clearly <laughs> here for another <laughs> yeah, hour no, thank you <laughs> this is not a musical um okay that's well, thank it. you guys so much. Um, if you guys really love us, you'll go to YouTube and subscribe and then share that. And talk to us in the comments. Yes. And um, share us with people you know. Share us um, on your story and tag yeah. us. Join our Patreon. Facebook group. Um, but yep. the Patreon is the best. It is. Yeah. It's a nice little clubhouse it where is. we tell secrets. It's where you hear gossip and whatnot. Definitely. Yeah. I'm cold. I know. It is cold. I'm over here shivering as mm -hmm. I fucking smoke cigarettes like an asshole. All right. That's it. Kay. We love you. Suck it easy. Go to bed. <laughs>